All right, this video goes out to my brother Larry Hall up in Brainerd, Minnesota, who got me into the smoking salmon and cold smoking and everything. I got this from AmazingProducts.com on the internet, and it's got a hole on this end and a hole on this end and these little metal slats so that when you fill it full of sawdust and you light it over here, it smokes along. And I got as high as 16 hours out of it. I don't know if that's unusual or what, but it, it put out nice smoke for my little master craft or whatever I got smoker over there. So I ordered their pellet model and I noticed that these are a little flat and this is beveled. This looks like a little Indian tent or something. And I think that's to make the pellets as they burn kind of pile down towards the bottom. That's just my belief. And uh, I got some applewood and I also got some oak. I'm going to use this oak because I, I, I smoke with applewood so I'm going to save that. But I'm going to see what the full length of this is. And what I do is I set this when I fill it in another pan so I don't have to be so cautious. It says you know to put a certain amount in there but what I do is I just go ahead and fill it up so that she's full and then I I shear off all the excess and then it's right with the world. I got a little piece of cardboard in here because I'm only going to light it from one end because this also has a hole on this end and a hole on this end. I'm only going to light it on one end because I want to see how long and it says to be careful with the pellet model not to fill it too high because it'll jump over the top of this little fence here and start the other side on fire before you want it to. So. But I just want to kind of get the, the the take on how long this will smoke. So if I want to cold smoke bacon, say for 10 hours or so. And they also sell you uh, one of these comes in the package when you order one of these. Uh, in some of their package prices, this little torch. And when you get it, remember, it looks like it's still in the package, but there's no fuel in it. And that's because you can't ship it in the mail with fuel in it. So I went down to the store and bought one of these. They're only about $2.99 at Fred's. For your dollar store. Filled up a little torch. And now I'm going to light this rascal and get these pellets going here. And once I get this little bit of breeze out here tonight, but we'll see. I tried lighting this with a conventional click lighter like you light a barbecue with. It just don't really work good on the sawdust or the pellet model with this little torch and I'm sure you could use a just a regular pro propane torch that you have in your garage you know one of them little chrome or a gold shaped colored ones and uh, but uh, and you get a little tank that might be the the answer but this is pretty handy this works real good and I want to get this going they say to use it about 45 seconds let me see if I can use my body to kind of block the wind it's kind of going there's another model I see that they sell from overseas or something, you can't get them, but it's got a little candle slot. You set a candle in there and once it gets burning real good, you take the candle out. But I like this better. But uh, I filled the tray the whole entire way because I want to see how long it will smoke on one fill. Get her going real good like that. Blow it out. And I kind of blow it like a cigar. Just like you'd start an old campfire, just a little blowing here. Okay, looks like she's going good. Putting out a lot of smoke. I think it puts out more smoke than the sawdust model. And I'm going to find that out here in a little while. I'm going to take it over here, put it in my smoker. We'll set it down in there if Sheila can get a shot of that. And that's why I ordered both of their both of their units and uh, that looks like it's glowing nice and putting out a real nice smoke you don't need any more than that that's for certain and uh, we'll close that and open the vent on top so she can vent out this is one of them boxes from Bass Pro Shop where you put chips in there and set it in put it on your briquettes or on a I was using it on a single burner stove and it just burns up the wood so quick. You've got smoke, then you don't have smoke. Then you got smoke, you don't have smoke. It takes 15, 20 minutes for it to heat up before it produces smoke. This produces smoke instantly and burns for several hours. So if you're looking for something to cold smoke cheese in the fall and in the winter when your smoker's cooler outside and 
bacon or salmon or something, you want to cold smoke it for six or eight hours before you bring it up to temperature and finish it off cooking. Of course, I'm not talking about cheese now because that would just melt into a pile, but this might be the answer. And uh, we're starting to get a little blue smoke coming out of there. We're going to see exactly what we will see. Thank you, Sheila, for your help there. And this is the company that puts these out. They're called Amazon Products. A-M-A-Z-E-N. If you look them up on Google or U YouTube or, or Yahoo, I'm sorry, and uh, you'll find out all the products they got. And again, I fill it in here so I can just take this and pour it back in the bag. You really want to keep your stuff dry. It's kind of like shooting a muzzle loader. If you don't got the powder dry, it'll go out. One thing I found out by putting it in my smoker underneath salmon and stuff without putting a, a little aluminum tent shield over it or a pan above it is whatever you're smoking drips down into that powder into these pellets and it will put it out and stop it from burning back and forth. So, but anyway, that's the newest model. Here's the sawdust from the previous uh, one that I was burning, which was this model here. It burned up to 16 hours and put out great smoke. And then here's the pellets and you've seen the new model that I just put in there and fired it up so we're gonna see how it does and we're gonna check it and uh, the time right now is about six o'clock in the evening around dinner time and we'll see how long it burns and if it does what the other one did it'll still be burning in the morning so good product we'll talk to you soon this goes out to my brother Larry Hall in Brainerd Minnesota who got me started on all this cold smoke and stuff for salmon and fish and cheese and he's doing turkeys and hams this weekend and having a ball. Thanks a lot broski. Talk to you soon. This is Steve Hall in Nashville.